Lead Customer Success Owl, Erica here. I'm just gonna give you some tips on how to get started on your knowledge base. So when you first start your knowledge base, you'll find yourself here within knowledge base articles. This is kind of your home base for creating content. So a lot of people often start by adding a series of categories that they later fill with articles, just to give them sort of a skeleton of what their knowledge base might look like. So we'll start there by adding a category. Give it a title, um, hello, and click add and edit. Here you can choose an icon, and I'm gonna see what birds there are. And you can also create, like choose different variants of the same one. So I like the kiwi bird, I'll stick with light, update icon, and save. I can either click back or back to articles to get to where I started. And if I wanted to add an article within that category, I'm here, and then I can add article. And let's say first day at L school. I'm going to create a new article, add an edit. And here you'll see our WYSIWYG editor, which is what you see is what you get. You can copy and paste from Google Docs or from Word and add your content that way, or you can create it directly in here. You can add images, videos, other files, just go from there. We will do that. And then it'll automatically save as a draft. You can put it to published and that will publish it right away. There's other options that we can get into later in more detailed videos. I'm going to save this. And the next place after creating categories and articles people will go to frequently is to check out the style area. Here you can choose some colors and different layout options. You can also preview your knowledge base by clicking the view KB button at any time. And this will sort of show you where you're at. Next, I'm going to go off the camera for a little bit, make a few edits that I talked about, add a few more categories, delete the demo content, and I'll be back in a moment to show you some more details on how to get going. Okay, so here we are again. I have made a few of my own categories. I've also deleted the demo content, so I'm getting a better idea of what my knowledge base might look like and also what I might want to change. Like I might want to change the color of the text, etc. All of which I can do in the settings style category or area that I was just showing you. I've made choices for default co colors for the category icons. You can see here, you can edit those. Back to the articles, I could continue to add more content or maybe I want to look at the contact form. You can easily set this up to go to your own email address or wherever you want it to go. You can make adjustments here on what it might say to folks. You can check out the glossary. There's actually, there's so many different tools here that are worth poking around and seeing what might help you with your knowledge base. We also have an area here that you don't want to forget with the in-app help. And this is a widget, something that you could set up in your knowledge base as well, which lets you access our own support docs. So you can find information that you need, different articles that are recommended based on the page that you're at. And you can always just reach out here for any help questions. If you want advice, you can let us know what type of knowledge base you're building and we can give you some personalized advice from there. Uh, thanks very much, and thanks so much for trying out Knowledge Owl.